Welcome back to Space Weather News, your daily source for all things space weather related. If you enjoy our videos, please consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. In the past 24 hours, solar activity has reached moderate levels. Notably, M-class flare activity was observed from region 3421, with the most significant being an M1.2 flare peaking at around 7.45 pm UTC. Another region, designated as Region 3424, emerged on the northeastern side of the Sun, while other active regions remained relatively stable or declined. A fast coronal mass ejection CME, was detected in SOHO NASA coronagraph imagery starting around 2 p.m. UTC. However, analysis indicates that this CME likely originated on the far side of the Sun, possibly from an old active region, AR 3413. A Type II radio sweep with an estimated speed of 1,314 km per second was reported by USAF observatories, beginning at around 8.21 pm UTC, with a related CME observed in Lasco C2 imagery, also originating from the far side of the solar disk. A dimming area was noted near AR 3420 in SDO-193 imagery at approximately 10.20 pm UTC. However, no discernible CME was detected in coronagraph imagery, and no Earth-directed CMEs were observed. Solar activity is expected to remain primarily at low levels, with isolated M-class flare activity possible through September 8. The greater than 2 mega electron volts electron flux reached high levels, peaking at 1870 Fu at around 3.50 pm UTC. In contrast, the greater than 10 mega electron volts proton flux remained at near background levels. The greater than 2 mega electron volts electron flux is expected to reach high levels on September 6 and continue at moderate to high levels on September 7 and 8 as a co-rotating interaction region. CIR, becomes geoeffective. The greater than 10 mega electron volts proton flux is anticipated to remain near background levels throughout the forecast period. The solar wind environment reflected shock arrival, likely from a September 1st CME that narrowly missed Earth's orbit. During this time, the total field reached 10 nt, with the BZ component sustaining a southward deflection of minus 8 nt. Wind speeds increased from approximately 384 km per second to about 455 km per second. Phi, the orientation of the magnetic field, remained variable but returned to nominal conditions after 7 pm UTC. Expect an enhanced solar wind environment to persist from September 6 to 8. The current CME passage is expected to continue through midday on September 6. By late September 6, the influence of a positive polarity co-rotating high-speed stream CHHSS, is expected to dominate and continue through much of September 7. Finally, a shift to negative polarity CHHSS influence is expected to become the dominant feature in the interplanetary magnetic field IMF. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure through space weather news. Your support means the world to us, and we appreciate the many of you who have sent us your donations via the Super Thanks feature. If you want to further show your support and become an integral part of our journey, click on the Join button. By joining our YouTube channel, you'll have the opportunity to deepen your connection with us and help us continue delivering captivating updates and insightful analyses about our dynamic universe. Thank you for watching.